Hey guys, it's Ross, and today we're gonna do some pruning of persimmons. And this is my largest persimmon in the ground. It's called Rosianca. It's a it's a hybrid between Americans and Asians. And um, by doing that, you get the flavor of an Asian persimmon with the hardiness of an American persimmon. And this thing can be grown all the way down to zone five, I believe. So if you guys are interested in trying to grow, you know, an Asian persimmon, I know there's a lot of you out there that didn't know this was possible. You can certainly do this in a very cold climate. So let's get into pruning this guy. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that we got to get rid of dead or diseased wood, crisscrossing branches. Uh, you know, there's the three D's, whatever the third D is. I don't really see any of that. This is pretty a pretty healthy tree here. Um, what I want to mention about persimmons in general, uh, you know, specific to persimmons, is that they're very lanky trees. And I've had a really bad problem in this location. I've done a video on it. Hopefully that came out before this one has. But this whole corridor that we're in right now is really windy. And if, you, if the camera backs up a little bit, you can see this apple tree planting here and this whole section just gets blown away by tons of wind and come closer again so the fact that this is a really windy location the fact that persimmons are naturally very lanky they get these long arms of huge tons of fruit on them and the branches tend to break that's what we're going to be focusing on in this video and most of my persimmon life has been focusing on trying to make my tree less lanky and more sturdy that way so we're gonna take a limb like like this as an example right this is a lot of growth that came out this year and this is a nice you know it's a lot of growth but let, just just imagine this thing starts branching out all along this branch and say at the tip it branches out because that's usually where they branch out the most is on the tip that's where the most of the auxins are contained is the tip which then suppresses the growth below so this is gonna really be bent down like this at a certain point in time so what i want to do is actually come in here with my pruning shears say this is a you know a foot of growth it's not it's probably two feet of growth okay so let's say it's two feet of growth we're going to take this back probably to a foot so we're going to cut this back in half, just like that. And this is going to create a more sturdy tree. The branching will be here rather than way out here. And I'm going to do that all across the tree, guys, trying to stop a little bit of the vigor. See how this is like this, where it branched out and now there's a lot of really thin and, and fewer branches. This is kind of what I want. I want a sturdier tree. If you look over here to my mulberry, just look at the huge shoots that come up out of this mulberry. That's the complete opposite of what we want. I mean, one of these shoots, this thing's probably, I wanna say it grew at least 12 feet in one year. Uh, it, it, at certain points of the year, it was growing about a foot a week. I'm not exaggerating. So. I kind of want to prevent that same thing from happening with this, but it would be way worse with a persimmon. All right, so let's um, let's also evaluate not just you know these long ones here that we're going to cut back. You know, let's also evaluate another situation. Um, here we have, you know, the, the form of it's quite nice, right? We got some lower branching that will eventually come out, right? It's, this stuff may eventually hit the ground or come close to the ground we'll take that out when that happens you know but this larger stuff up here which is growing straight up right it hasn't really branched out yet this is really in the center of the tree where the most growth has happened and you don't necessarily need an open center with your trees with your persimmons they love to grow as single stem trees just like most trees you know they'll just do that i forget what the name of that is but Essentially what we're going to do is we're kind of going to free up a lot of that growth because I'm not a huge fan of how many of them are up there, but also if you see how this tree works, right? See how the trunk is down there. We got some branching here, branching there, branching there, just a little bit of space, more branching, a little bit of space, more branching. 
you know but then as we go up higher the tree stops really branching out for the most part and then it just has these long shoots that's not going to work plus you know in this location we're sort of close to the house i don't want this tree to get massive okay i want to be able to pick the fruits so what we're going to do is we're going to take the most obvious one is this branch here because this is the main trunk. This is the main leader here. That's what it's called, a central leader system. That's what persimmons mainly are grown as. And this, this branch here is in the way. So we're gonna take this one out. And that's an okay cut. If you guys come in here, what I should be doing is using a saw, in fact, and maybe I'll come back in here. But this is an okay cut. It's not the best but you want a nice clean cut that's very straight. Um, now we're gonna just basically kind of be choosy here. I think, cause this one's in the middle and there's like four of them around here. We'll take the one out in the middle first. So we'll take this guy out. And then I'm just really gonna focus on bringing this height back up here. So, take that back. Take that back. All to outward growing shoots. Same thing with these guys. So we'll take, uh, I think I'm gonna take this out completely. Kind of getting this outwards more, letting this eventually branch out and become these interesting systems of branches. You see what I'm saying? This is way more complex and intricate. Up here, it's just the beginning of that. So we'll leave, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna take this out. We're gonna bring this back. Actually, you know what, we're gonna take this back, cut this back, cut that back, cut this back. Just bringing back the height, guys. Less lanky of a tree. Same thing with this, same thing with this. Here, here. This, I'm not a huge fan of that. And then if you come in close, you can take a real nice look here, guys, at this little section here. This is where it's getting the most dense on my tree. This is clearly intersecting with this. And I'd rather not have these branches come into each other. So we're gonna completely take this out. We're also gonna take this out. And um, yeah, that's what we're looking at. This is a little clean up here. Come in here probably with the, the saw to clean that up a little bit, clean up my cuts. You can come in here with the hand pruners. Um, you know, now that we've done most of the, the big pruning guys, you know, we've taken out a lot of this growth. Um, we're gonna just come in here with detail pruning and that's it. That's all we're doing. You know, selecting branches. You got, we had three, we had four branches here. Got to get rid of one. You know, it's really all at this point, do I see any glaring problems? And the answer really is no. This one's growing towards the center. We'll get rid of that. This is growing towards the center. And you know, we've pretty much, we pretty much have contained this tree. Uh, the only thing left is that if you're gonna sell these cuttings or trade them or whatever, label them. If you're not gonna label them, you're not gonna sell them, you're not gonna get rid of them, just put them underneath the tree. And you can see in here, we put down a lot of organic fertilizer uh, today, but we also have just piles and piles of different types of mulch this really helps feed these trees. 
The tree we just pruned is only three years old. It's only been in the ground for three years. But look how incredible the growth was. So all that mulch and all those branches that we just took off is gonna do the same thing. It's gonna break down in the soil, feed the tree that we just pruned. Trees like to eat trees. All right guys, so this was uh, me pr pruning the persimmon and uh, hopefully next year we have some really nice fruits to show you guys. And my girlfriend's laughing at me because of my tree thing, but anyway. It's my new motto. It's my new motto. Anyway guys, uh, I'll talk to you all soon. Take care and you really should grow some persimmons.